دارالقرآن کے ایک طالب علم انعام الحسن یوم آزادی کی مناسبت سے انگریزی میں تقریر پیش کریں گے دعوت دیتا ہوں انعام الحسن کو تشریف لائیں اور انگریزی میں تقریر پیش کریں بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم All praises are due to Allah Ta'ala Lord of the worlds and salutations upon our Nabi Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam Respected Ulama, Principal Asadza and my brothers in Islam I greet you with the universal greetings of Islam Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu Our homeland, Pakistan, is not like other lands of the world which are inherited by its citizens. But uh, Pakistan is the country for which Muslims of combined India severed their bones as bricks and their blood as water to set the basis for Pakistan. Only those can judge the true value of this inestimable creation who himself has participated in building this country and sacrificed his wife, children, sisters, brothers and all his blood relations. To achieve this sacred land, millions of Muslims met martyrdom. Countless children were killed in front of their mothers and lots of families were burnt inside their homes. Many children got orphaned and missed their parents for their whole life. Valleys of Pakistan are containing congruences of paradise, beautiful green landscapes and spacious farms that are spreading out gold. We also see that we are rich in every kind of freedom and facility, but do not forget that in making this come true, there is part of the blood of Sir Sayyid, Tipu Sultan, the thoughts of Allama Iqbal, and the untiring struggles of Qadi Azam Muhammad Ali Dina, and the endeavors of many others and everyone was aligned to achieve an independent Islamic State. 14th of August 1947 was the auspicious day of Islamic history when Pakistan, the God-gifted country, came into being. May Allah make every Pakistani more loving of his country. Amen.